Hello, my name is Joel Labava, and I am the Franchise King. There are a lot of different things that you need to do before you buy a franchise. And uh, as a matter of fact, I have 21 of them. And I'm going to go through a couple of them and uh, uh, then direct you where to read the rest of my wonderful, wonderful tips on franchising and how to buy a franchise. The first one kind of sounds like uh, a little weird, but... I want you to keep what you're doing, looking for a franchise to buy eventually, a secret. I want you to be a little secretive at first, because once you mention to your family and friends that I'm thinking about being my own boss and buying a franchise, uh, a bunch of opinions are going to be kind of uh, darted your way. And it might not be advisable to listen to those opinions. Of course, if you don't have any opinions to listen to, all the better. So be a little secretive at first and kind of keep things to yourself and keep the specific franchises that you find kind of a secret until you learn more. It's really, really important. Another thing I want you to do is I want you to go really deep and I want you to get a piece of paper, get a pen, slash down the middle. On one side, I want you to write down the reasons that you think you'd make a great franchise owner. And the other side, I want you to write down the things that may not be a good fit for you in a franchise. Maybe things like the rules, etc. Or maybe reasons not to buy a franchise. Maybe family pressure. Maybe too much financial risk. Anyway, kind of do what we call a Ben Franklin, where you have a piece of paper. And down the middle you put a line. You kind of put positives and negatives. Write it down. Look at it. Think about it. It's really important. Get out of your head a little bit and see it in black and white on paper. And, and I think it'll help you determine if, if franchising, franchise ownership is the way to go for you. Another thing I want you to do is I want you to turn that piece of paper over. Easy for me to say. Turn that piece of paper over and write down on one side, once again, line down the middle, write down on one side your strengths. What are you really good at? What do you like to do? What are your top professional skills? Write those down. Then on the other side, I want you to write down some of your personal traits, some of the things like, um, do you like giving back to the community? Uh, uh, do you like uh, being innovative and entrepreneurial? Are you a good salesperson? And do you like sales? Or do you have a salesy personality? Things like that. So that way, when you start to look at franchises, individual specific franchises, you have an idea of what kind of things you may be able to use to your advantage as the owner of that franchise. Now, I said that I have 20 things to do before you buy a franchise. Um, I really have 21, and I might have said that at first, but 20, 21, whatever. The 21st thing, number 21, is go to FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com. FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com and take the free course in Introduction to Franchising. It's actually a proper introduction to franchising. Check it out, FranchiseBusinessUniversity.com. I'm Joel Labava, the Franchise King. That's why I have this crown. Thanks for watching.